So hello, I'm going to show you how to do the Google Earth random place game. It's very important. You start from uh, the presentation um, that I've done. And the idea of this game is Google Earth is going to take you to any number of different locations and you are going to record some of those details. Um, the first page of the presentation has an introduction on it. The second page then has the instructions and the key instruction that you've got that you need to be able to do is go to this link just here and go to Google Earth. You'll click on it and it will load in your screen. It might take a, just a, a little while, it's quite a processor and um, powerful program, but you've just got to hold tight there for it to load up. Now once loaded, it's going to look something like this and dead easy. All you're going to do is hit the dice on the left hand side. I'm feeling lucky and it will take you to a random place. In this case, Sunderland. Isn't that exciting? And then what I want you to do is I want you to go and look at the next screen. And there are various things that you need to find out about Sunderland or the place that yours dice has taken you. What is the name of the location? So I'm obviously going to write in Sunderland in there. Nearest largest settlement is Sunderland. Sometimes it will take you to a lake or a river or some um, physical feature. Um, which country is it in? Well, it's in the United Kingdom. Is, it, is the country richer or poorer? This is to get you thinking about whether it's a more economically developed country or a less economically developed country. So this one's in the UK, so it's going to be a more economically developed country. And you might tell with that just by beginning to zoom in around and look in maybe at the quality of the housing, the quality of the infrastructure, how good are the roads um, and so forth. Um, which continent is it in? Well, it's in Europe. What makes this location special? Well, that, if we looked when it came on the other side, you've got this Wikipedia page that appears. And if you open that up, that will then tell you about Sunderland. Um, and then we can look through it um, and find something interesting about Sunderland. Um, historically in County Durham, there were, only th there were three original settlements by the mouth of the River Weir on the site of modern day Sunderland. On the north side of the river, Monk Wearmouth was settled in 674 when King Ecfrith of Northumbria granted land to Benedict Biscop to found Monk Wearmouth um, Monastery and so forth. And then we begin to find interesting things about Sunderland and you can then add them into the what makes this location special. Would you like to visit it? Of course I'd like to visit Sunderland. So I can just write a yes in there. Now, if you want to take this a little bit further, what you can do is you can actually create your five places in Google Earth. So we can zoom right into Sunderland here. And if we press the button out on the left, sorry, I mean, press the projects button here, which is this um, sort of map with a pointer in it. You can then make a new project. And I'm going to create a project in Google Drive and I'm going to call it my five favorite places. Okay. And then all I need to do is come across to the right hand side and hit this add to project. And it adds Sunderland into my favorite places. And I can keep place there. Now I could do, I could then do something else. I could add a full screen slide. And I can call it Sunderland. And then I can begin to discuss Sunderland is a, a, an interesting place. If I can spell because da, 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 da. give it a bit of a background color and take it back and it adds in then a slide. So if I then go to present, I've got Sunderland there. I can go to my next page and that would tell me 
about Sunland. Now I could have added a photo in there, I could have added more detail in there. And you could build up a little automatic uh, project that explains all those things about the town. You could then come to the top here, share it with your teacher, share it with somebody else um, who would then like to see it. So hopefully there you can have a real good time getting to grips and finding some interesting places with Google Earth. Enjoy.